don't have time for any video, you can see the sun's going down. And I got delayed today, but what we're doing is we're heading out to that farm where that abandoned hive was at. I tore apart that hive and put everything in new equipment. It's been there for about five days or so. So I'm gonna quick get out of the truck, get my protective gear on, suit up, and uh, then we're gonna... Okay, so far so good. So what we did, ran boards on all the sides of this. We're gonna screen the front, I'm checking the bees to make sure they're in there, and it looks like they certainly are. Not too worried about that. It's just gonna pop the top super quick. And um, then we're actually gonna take a long screw and screw this lid down before we load it up into the truck and get it out of here to its new home. So the sun is uh, going down. We might work on that mess that's over way over there. Why we're here working on bees though, we always have company. Gotta watch this electric fence. But look, we got some cows. Oh, we're being watched. Hey, girls and boys. Always fun. All right, we got more done than I thought. So, the bees are in there. There were extra bees. We used the vacuum. Man, I love my Colorado bee vac. I can't say enough. So, and just so you can see what we were dealing with. Now that it's dark and the bees are can't really fly. Look at this. Navigate through here, over this hill, through the brush, and there are the hives. Wood rotted. Complete mess. I bagged up everything else for the home owner, property owner and uh, set it up by the road here. They can pick those up after the last few bees clear off. And we're good to deliver this hive. Woohoo! Whew, I think the hardest part's done. Now it's just unloading them, and pulling the screen and running. <laughs> Another bee rescue in the books. There we go. So we're off to deliver the hive now. Yeah, everyone.